We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. All right, let's play this right quick. Uh -huh. Hey, yo, fuck them camera phones, too. Let's get back to interacting like humans. Put them weird ass devices down. I ain't from that era. Them shits don't control the soul. Fuck your phone. <gasps> Excuse me, gentlemen. Thank you very much. I will point every last one of y'all out until y'all asses is up. 33 years of doing this shit, I ain't used to niggas sitting down at my show. I don't give a fuck. All age groups, get your ass up. Now, I see you beautiful queen, get up too. Fuck going on. Everybody up top too. Get your big head asses up. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the reason why there will be zero tolerance for bullshit energy in here is because this is my first time in New Orleans at the fucking 30th anniversary well, of the <laughs> So listen, man, know what I mean, that was Buster, know what I mean, he was performing at the Essence Fest, know what I mean, down in New Orleans, know what I'm saying? You see Buster, know what I mean, he, he got on his, he, he told, know what I mean, he got on his bullshit, man. On bully, man. Know what I mean, he told niggas, yo, first of all, Buster's a wild nigga, he said, turn them weird ass devices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know he always good when he said that You gotta, you gotta tell him. <laughs> niggas, niggas said devices, it's wild. Yeah, he could just said phone, bro. Ever, like, nah, they be out there with tablets and all types of shit. So he covered everything. Yo, so what y'all think about this, man? Shouts out to him. That's an MC. He trying to, you know, he he got a his style of music is energy, live dance, like almost every song that he released. So for you, for him not to get that response and been doing it for so long, he gonna say something. And if if it's not responding well, then he ain't gonna perform there like that. That I could I see him doing that. Like, listen, I'm giving y'all my all. We gonna have a good time in here. Show me some love. If y'all not rocking with me, then I'm probably not gonna do this again. That's essentially what he was saying. Kind of how like um, Method Man did at uh, Summer I'm Jam. I'm say this shit sound like Summer Jam again, man. Yeah. That's all this shit sound like to me. This sound like a bunch of cock out little pee pee. Yo, the devices, it's, it's technology. It's, it's the way of life now. They got their phones on because they recording you. They want to record a legend perform. It ain't like motherfuckers is on their device on Instagram while you sitting here on the stage. If I paid my auto. money, <laughs> if, I, if I paid my money to come see you, Brother, respect the fact that nigga, I'm here to see you. I don't. I just don't get it. I don't get it. And then when you talk about, ain't trying to hear, like away from the mic. My fault. If you if you talk about like we here, then you say, yo, it's been thirty years, my nigga. This is your first time here in thirty years. It's been thirty joints, nigga. You just coming, <laughs> and, but you want us to respect you. It's been thirty years of this motherfucker. You just getting here. Nigga, please. I'm sorry. I just see it in a different way. You the legend, but goddamn, bro, you asking for a lot. But I mean, yeah, it's the first time at the Essence, not in New Orleans. Yeah, that's the first time at the Essence, not him performing in New Orleans. That's two different things. I, I, I it, it's so it's it's layers to this too because number one, Buster was so happy to be headlined at the Essence Fest. I mean, he did promo for it. You know, he on his year to Dragon Run. You know, uh, he, you know when you he on when, tour when you want to, yeah, with Missy and all that. But he's just been he's been active this year since the year started. He's been really, really active. And one of the things that Buster Rhymes does is he puts time and effort into his show, like into his. Uh, I, I, a lot of people never even seen a Buster Rhymes show. They just say, "Yo, I seen it because he was doing some joints." But if you ever watched a full Buster Rhymes show, it's something that nobody is it's doing. Epic. Nobody in the industry is doing. 
I mean, I I, I, I just see the uh, cause I, I watched it on uh, YouTube, and I was go actually I was gonna send it to Wolf a while ago, and I mean, when him and Split Star does man, it can't be matched when he walks up to him with the microphone, and he as he's rapping fast, Split Star starts turning him down, and he starts. And I, yo, that's the coolest shit in the world. And that takes practice. It's not something. And then he turns them back up. And yo, it's crazy. It's insane. So I think he was just disappointed at the audience. As you can see, the Essence Fest is falling off too. I just want to say that. Mm -hmm. They falling off. As you can see, it was very empty in the front. It's Buster Rhymes. You know what I mean? Uh, move up. Let's not. But it's the audience too. Because you got to remember, the Essence Fest audience is, is not the... Nah, the Buster Rhymes audience. Nah, it, it, it's an older, older it be. audience. It a should be more, Buster Rhymes audience. Yeah, I want to say, but it's a little bit, I don't want to say bougie and disrespect nobody, but, you know, it's a little bit older crowd. You know what I mean? Hips name not, might, might not be working that well. You know what I mean? That's what I mean by that. You know what I mean? Everybody, <laughs> you feel me? Hips might not be working. You know, everybody not trying to stand up every performance. They don't got the Megan D's no more. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? <laughs> so I think when Buster, because he was excited. To do that and i think that's what that but th to be honest those the reason why that's even trending is because they never heard that but if they came into like a maybe a younger generation world artists do that all the time on stages like yo what the, right. are we doing out here that's regular you know what i mean he ain't do nothing that wasn't regular that's like, why i said he was MCing. He's yeah MC. it, it, it's just that at that crowd is a little bit older and they like oh, why is he talking to us like that what that the you know what I mean? But really, that's, that's a, like you said, five controlling but do you them. Think, but do you think there's a point in what he's saying, though? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. If you can see, it's empty in the front, and they not even, it's Buster Rhymes, y'all. Like, yo, get up, pitch your hands where your eyes can see. He's but not see, a fake performer. He don't got ad libs in the back so of his joint. My question he about is, to put on a show. Then what's the point of telling them to turn off their phones if they try? Like you said, if they never seen a Buster, you never seen how him and Spliff do it. How you even said it was like, yo, hold, he's doing a turn down. He's doing. I would want to record. That's some legendary epic shit. Nah, Why? there's I more Super Bowl killer. Now I mean, they they like like bad shit. They wasn't, you know, the the the, the front of the joint wasn't even. It's one of these. It's like up. the front yeah, of the joint was yeah, wasn't crazy. filled up. And they were sitting down. They wasn't even standing up. You feel me? Yeah, like, no, no, I get I get that. Like, the stand-up part, get on your feet. I get all of that. But I'm, I'm just saying, like, are they real, when you pull out your phone, are all these niggas being disrespectful, they just on their phone doing something else? I think it's they, very, That's what I'm asking. I think it's very disrespectful for you to... It's not even disrespectful. It's There's moments it's, for that. Yeah, there's... Exactly. And and you're, I mean, you're you not... You heard him. He said, let's get back to being human. Yeah, you're that's not that. enjoying the show with your phone out. You can even if I'm recording my favorite artist, that's like not the whole show though. Not, like not the whole show. Like yo, that's that's crazy. But I do want to say this one nah, thing. I don't know, bro. Because I, I do want to say, Buster was the headline. So for them to not react to him in that manner, when you came to the show for him and he's the that's headline, what I was saying, it's tough. This is not like like Summer Jam where like he's a throwing artist and he's one of many. He is that. who they came to no, see. No, I get that. And they didn't react to it. No, That's I get, crazy. I'm not talking about the stand. I'm talking about, nigga, if my phone is pointing at you, I'm recording you. I want nah, to see it's a, you. It's a different era, though. Like, I I don't like that neither. Like, a lot of people take their phones. Like, I ain't going to cap. Like, well, most lot, shows do it. Most, most shows, shows take most shows phone. Do it, yeah. I'm not really with that phone stuff. I never could get with it, but I understand what you're saying, Killer. I'm not going to just yeah, be like, yo, I don't understand. Yeah, take your phone out, but when he first come on stage, give him the round of applause he deserves. Yeah, 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 that's a fact. Get into the motion and then pull your phone and not be sitting like, down like, yo, it's bust out here, y'all. Like, that's crazy. Like, nigga, if, if, I'm telling you right now, if Pac come on stage, bro, nigga, the footage you might get might not even be a Pac. I'm going to be so hype. I'm going to be everywhere. My phone going to be everywhere, but I'm going to be trying to catch Pac, like, yeah. I ain't missing this moment, bro. That's pot. And then some I might crowds, not see this nigga again. Right. And there's some crowds that are bougie. They won't come to the front. Not saying like bougie and that part is crazy. They they we seen it. You know what yeah, I mean? They that, won't come crazy. to the front. They they want to sit down. But it's the the essence fest is the essence fest without yeah. disrespecting it's the it's a little bit older. It's a little bit yeah. more I mean, and it was in New Orleans. We can't forget. Like the Hot Boys reunion was down there. So, you know, 
They probably I bet you they would have been out dancing with no phones they, when when they when probably used all their energy for the hot boy shooting. <laughs> it would have been it would have been minimal phone. They would have been doing a dancing. You know, they got that, that specific dance. All that phone stuff would have been out the door if they had Louisiana bounce music out there. You know they what I'm saying? It'd have been a completely probably, different. <laughs> from what I heard, they killed it, so they probably did. And that's probably why they was tired because Buster went last, and you know. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, I get everything y'all saying. I'm just, I'm just speaking about me. If I seen, if I seen Buster, my phone is out. I'm not missing that. That's yeah, at some point, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna shake when he get out, but I'm recording Buster Bust. Nigga, I might. Thirty years we ain't see this nigga. I might not see this nigga again. I'm recording Buster, all that. Yo, another thing about that too, cause it's nothing wrong with you saying, but this is the difference. Like if you go to a rolling out, yeah, they got their phones out at certain parts, but. There's a mosh pit going on. There's yeah, now nah, you ain't gonna have your phone there. Yeah, nah, you ain't going. <laughs> you feel me? So Buster yeah. come out there. There's a dance go section. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, there's a dance section. There's people yeah. going crazy. Yeah, they, it's, it's gonna be cute. a lot more welcoming than you just. Yeah. Yo, the whole front was empty, bro. It looked crazy. Yeah. Like <laughs> they, them prices of them tickets for them seats was too high. That's probably what it was. Yeah, that's probably what it was. <laughs> that's probably what it was. A fact. All right, man. man. Shout out the bush, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Legend, know what I mean? Yo, speaking of the Essence Fest, listen before we go, cause you did it, Wolf. <clears throat> you put out uh, a hip hop gamer joint, right? Mm -hmm. Who put that oh, out? Yeah. The clip of the hip hop gamer. What we? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm sitting here, it's like 9:30. This is because we talking about the Essence Fest. It all connects. And I'm sitting here, my phone ring. I'm, I'm I'm making a video with RD, and my phone rings again. And I pick up the phone, it's Hip Hop Gamer from the Essence Fest, live mm -hmm. down there. And he's like, yo, King, I just want to let you know, shout out to him, man. He said, yo, shout to Cut the Cat. Yo, I appreciate that, King. Yo, I'm wow. down here at the Essence Fest right now. Yo, I got mad love, da 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 boop, 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 boop. That's my guy anyway, but shout out to him. He, he rock with us heavy, and I just want to deliver that back because I told him I would. Deliver it back to nah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what nah, I mean? He definitely showed love. He he posted that joint a few times and all. He definitely showed love. So shout yeah. out, shout out to that pop gang. Hey, shout out. No, and he was out. down there working. You know, he down there interviewing Denzel and all those guys. And for him to stop, he said, "Yo, King, I stopped what I was doing, and I wanted to call you and let you and your brothers know that I got massive love." That I was like, "Yo, that's real. That's real right there." That's dope. Fire up, Sam. Shout out yeah. to the word hip hop gamer. Shout out to Bush. Know what I'm saying? Like we said, legendary icon, know what I'm saying? 